Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. I've missed you. I've been gone for a little bit because I haven't been feeling well and we'll get into that later. But uh, this vlog is a mix of get ready with me, chat, unboxing. You'll see. You'll see that's the corner of my office. <laughs> I still haven't given you a whole office tour as promised. I think I want to unbox these items from Lumi. I don't know if you remember um, a while back, well, not too long ago, I was sh I shared how excited I was on a live video about Lumi, which is a natural deodorant. And this is not sponsored, by the way. But you know what? So cool. I entered a competition. Lumi held a competition, um, you know, here in the United States. And they picked five people who would be considered... Um, Lumi's biggest fans because <laughs> I guess they found me on social media and um, they uh, wanted you to make a video uh, about Lumi and I did and so I was one of the people like picked as one of Lumi's biggest fans and one of the prizes basically was years worth of uh, Lumi products and so I will open this shortly I won't open it right now but I'm going to show it to you soon I think I want to do my nails because there's nothing worse than opening products with ugly nails so we're going to do that yeah and I might put some makeup on and look cute just because that might lift up my spirits because I'm just I'm okay but I'm not feeling my bestest quite yet not quite my best 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 say hello Rosie they haven't seen you in a while Say hello. Hi, I haven't been playing with you guys or holding you or dressing you in a while. <laughs> I really need to update my social media related cards. You know, these are business cards, not for medicine, but specifically for social media. And um, yeah, I need to change the Instagram handle and the way I would define myself is different. So I've scribbled all over and I want something a little updated. This is when, this was a couple of years ago, the kids were a lot younger. I don't know, Miriam still pretty much looks the same. So does Khalid actually. Kareem, I think, looks the most different. So I'm downstairs in the breakfast room which is currently kind of empty, as you can see. Um, so, Kenton, why is it empty? I'm leaving you. <laughs> You're That's leaving me? I, I sold all the furniture. Wow. So, I'm out. Wow. Done. Wow. You're done with me? And I'm taking the lettuce, too. <laughs> yeah, make and sure you take And ice cube trays. Okay. Oh, not my ice cube trays. Yes. You can't have my ice cube I'm trays. I'm leaving. You know, you can't have my ice cube trays. You know I love ice cube trays. I'm taking these too. Uh, okay, you do that. You do that. But no, seriously, uh, the reason it's empty is because they just did the floor. The floor was, you know, kind of ugly. Um, so they just redid it. Um, I've said it before, this is a rental home. Okay, so this is not my dream home. This is not our home. This is a rental home we've been living in for a couple of years. So once Kenton is done with his law education, life will change again. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm showing you this because if you remember over here was like a bookcase, kind of like a bookcase that I was using as a china cabinet. Kenton says he doesn't like it because he thinks it looked too decluttery. I'm okay, you know, I love change. So, hey, if you want something new, we might need to get something new. So, I love, you know, decorating and making a space look different. So, we'll see. We might put a new china cabinet there, something, something. Um, but this is the table that was there and it's got stuff. It's got a whole bunch of stuff because you guys know... I love a tea party and I'm a hostess type. I love plates, china, tea stuff. So these were all the things that were on that bookcase, which is why it looks cluttered. So it doesn't normally um, stay here. The actual bookcase that was there is currently turned this way as if, you know what it reminds me of? When a child does something naughty um, in, in like Africa and they tell you to turn turn to face the wall. That's what this reminds me of for some reason. Turn and face the wall. <laughs> so um, you're seeing the back side of it. Because I, the, yeah, the bookcase is on timeout. 
and I had ended up painting it, so that's why it looks kind of, you know, two-toned. Oh, and then here are more of the dishes that were on that china cabinet. So again, I like dishes because I like entertaining, because I like cooking, and because I just like nice stuff. Like these are from William Sonoma, and you've probably seen these a few times. They're actually more beautiful and heavy and less functional because sometimes they want to tip over because they're so heavy. And you know, this is the large cast iron um, pot, which kind of almost looks like this because this is ceramic and this is cast iron. And this is also cast iron. Got some of my plants sitting on the table here. And then since we're here, let's show you one of my newest plants. I think I showed you, yeah, I did show you the last time my new um, ponytail plant. This one's a rubber tree plant. I like it. I really like it. I remember growing up and seeing these plants and they can grow into really big, big trees. And then this is our money tree, which we've had for a few years. I kind of gave it a haircut. You can see I cut these parts, so it doesn't look that great. But it's been hanging in. It's been hanging in there for like three years at least. So a few days ago, we had a lot of rain. So I haven't been out here in a minute. So it might be a little messy. Yeah, you can see it's a little messy. Oh, Kenton got some more new pots, but these are terracotta. So these are pretty heavy. Yeah, you see that, pretty heavy. Okay, spanning over here, all those like flecks. That's the bird food that the squirrels have finally, finally finished. So we need to get some more bird food. And this um, fiddle fig is what was inside. We just put it outside temporarily. Let me face this way, Mr. Fiddle Fig. But she seems pretty happy underneath the umbrella, right? Ooh, I gotta show you this plant when it's bright and sunny. This is the plant where the flowers literally close up. They like close up. And so you don't see the bright flowers in the evening. So, um, but yeah, in the day when it's like full sun all the flowers open up so you can see a couple and here's a few that are closing and yeah because of the storm you see all of this mess but i'll need to clean it up i don't know can you see me can you see me i didn't really want you to see me because i'm looking so plain so plain i didn't want you to see me but whatever Real life, real life. So yeah, tomorrow um, I'm gonna go get a chest x-ray because that's one of the things that I did not have ordered. You know, I didn't get a chest x-ray ordered so I had to call and request that because you know, typically if you get shortness of breath or you're having a cough and it's been going on, you should probably have um, a chest x-ray. Yeah, you can see the water has washed away these flowers and these are an older bunch. They'll hopefully, we'll cut those off and then we'll get some new ones. So here are my nails, pretty basic, pretty natural nails, but not in the best shape. I figure if I go ahead and paint them and make myself feel good or look better, I will in turn feel better, or at least that's the goal. <laughs> You know, a little self-care. Um, sometimes when you don't feel good, just doing your nails or doing your makeup just makes you feel a little better. So that's what I was trying to do and distract myself from the fact that when I walk or talk for long periods at a time, I get winded. So sometimes I kind of, you know, play off this happy-go-lucky person, but inside i'm battling with the fact that i know i don't feel right and something isn't quite right and despite seeing the doctor um, we're waiting on doing more tests and i don't know just i just wasn't feeling comfortable confident in the way things were going and so I'll discuss later how I decide to take things into my own hands and try to figure out what's going on. Anyway my nails turned out okay. I did smudge one of them but overall it looks better than what I had when I started right and it makes me feel a little better. 
I don't always make our bed, but when I do and I come back hours later, it always makes me feel so happy like I did something, you know? It just makes me feel so much more relaxed and like I have been productive. <laughs> Okay, so let's see if we should put on a little bit of makeup just to feel better, you know, just to feel brighter um, before we open those boxes. I don't know, it's been a while since I said I was going to do that. I still love, love, love my vanity from, you know, Impressions Vanity or Vanity Impressions. Love it. Definitely a really good investment. Um, I've, you've seen this in several of my videos. It's quite large. It's got the mirrored front. Um, great storage. Love, love, love it. Definitely if you're one of those people who loves doing your makeup, who loves jewelry, or who loves, who, who's just a girly girl, this is definitely a great investment. Um, it was a little bit over $2,000. Yeah, that's how much it cost. Um, about a year ago so I don't know how much it is now or you know it might be the same it might be different okay so what are we gonna do first things even though there's this giant mirror in front of me I like to use a mirror closer for you know fine detail like eyebrows and this is from Amazon and I like that it has all these different panels with magnification and it can tilt. I know that was a weird transition. I was in my bedroom thinking about putting makeup on and then here we are looking at food. And that's because I started to feel not so good. And um, this time it wasn't, it's not the shortness of breath or chest pain, no, it, it was just not feeling good. And I realized I hadn't eaten um, because again, I haven't been feeling myself. So I, I don't know, I just sometimes, don't really want to eat and I realized it had been too many hours and I needed to eat so by this time I'm starving and I know my sugar is probably low and again I'm not diabetic I just hadn't eaten so anyway let's get something to eat I didn't feel like anything hot or you know heavy food so I thought a salad would be good but when you're really hungry at least in my case, I just start throwing everything into the salad. So I had the lettuce, I had sardines, and that was now uh, beets. I'm adding beets to the salad. And yeah, you'll see, I'm just gonna keep adding a whole bunch of things to it. As I was doing this, I was thinking, this is exactly what my mom does or what my mom is known for. She'll like put a whole bunch of different things together in a salad. You know, the salad looks like I'm pregnant, doesn't it? I'm gonna throw onions in there and I'm throwing in some leftovers. It's got plantain. That part is hot actually. That's a little bit of, again, leftovers. So everything is going into this salad. And um, <laughs> what's funny too is that, you know, I wasn't feeling good and my stomach also wasn't feeling right. And I was thinking, you know, by the time you're done with the salad, you are really gonna F up your, your stomach. So throw some cranberries in there too, but I don't know, it's all good stuff, right? It's really all good stuff. And you'll also notice that everything I'm putting in here is like either no salt or low sodium. So good stuff. Dessert, a little applesauce, and a little Greek yogurt. It doesn't look like much, but it's good. Earlier today, I said I was going to put on some makeup and look super cute. Well, I don't feel like it. So, I guess you'll see me tomorrow dressed up. You know, every now and then I like to give my skin a break. Um, if I don't have to wear makeup, I don't wear makeup. So, let's see what's in the boxes. What's in the boxes? And I did intentionally try to cut my face off, but you know, it's not a bad move considering I'm not wearing any face. So this is a good look, I think. Or would you like to see my face? What do you think? Is it rude? Nah, it's not rude. But anyway, I'll show you my face. Y'all know I'm pretty transparent. Transparent? <laughs> Can't speak, yeah. Okay. 
So I was going to open this in my office, but I get the best light because of the, you know, um, vanity lights in front of me. It gives off the best light. And I don't feel like putting a whole ring light on. So I have been picked as one of the winners and I was sent some prizes and the prizes include um, a year's worth of uh, deodorant. So for the whole year, I will get enough deodorant. Can you believe that? Okay, let's see. Let's take out this. So, it says, smell better, longer with Lumi for laundry. Lumi's biofilm buster is not a detergent. When used alone as the first step for your stinkiest fabrics, it eliminates the invisible biofilm growing in your clothes and it's safe for machines and it's biodegradable okay what else what else what else oh this is a large acidified body wash so this body wash is amazing it's unscented and um it is for quote happy skin look and feel and smell better longer so as i said before lumi is like a whole body deodorant so it's not just your typical deodorant that you put onto your armpit you can literally have a whole body wash and some of us got some stinky um stinky teenagers well i don't have any stinky teenagers anymore but i remember when they were stinky teenagers and i remember when i was a stinky teenager too <laughs> so this would have been very helpful um yep and then what else okay so this is a deodorant so some people like the hard stick and some people like it in cream form and this is the pioneer Piney Rose Invisible Cream. So whole body deodorant. You can use it on your pits, on your feet, and also on your privates. So um, summertime, summertime, y'all. We need this. We need this. <laughs> okay, so that was what was in the first box. So let's see what's in this box because this box is like three, four times heavier. Okay, let's see. Wow, 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 wow wow okay so these are great these are like travel size lumi wipes these are amazing because let's say you need a touch up you can wipe here you can wipe you know any creases you, you, you know what i'm talking about right you know what i'm talking about so wow i have a lot i have a lot and this is part of the prize i did not buy this I won this. You see what enthusiasm will do? You will win stuff. If you are genuinely enthusiast, enthusiast, is that even a word? If you are naturally, genuinely enthusiastic, things come your way. So uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh my God, acidified body butter. Okay, body butter. So this must be like a cream. Exfoliates. Um, exfoliates, hydrates, improves natural radiance, smooths rough flaky skin. Hmm, it's pleasant. Doesn't really have much of a scent, you know, for those of us who don't like too much. Because especially if you wear perfume already, you already have that. So let's see. I keep wanting to smell it because it just has a slight scent. Yeah, that's what it is. It says cucumber melon. Cucumber melon nice love it love it love it so isn't that amazing y'all like i literally got this uh got a product from my mother tried it for a while for a couple of months really liked it then i happened to make a reel about it i tagged the company because i was bold enough to tag them and uh, they reached out to me and said, hey, we liked your content. Um, can we use your content and we'll send you a gift certificate? So I was like, yeah, sure, fine, whatever. And that's kind of how it went. Then um, they suggested, hey, we're having a competition. If you'd like to enter, why don't you enter? So that was separate from the first thing I did. And I entered the competition. So um the competition required us to make like a video, which everyone who has a camera can make a video nowadays, right? I didn't even use my camera camera. I just used my phone. And then lo and behold, I got picked. 
as again one of five people so you know it's it's amazing what the power of social media um even if you're not a professional media social media type then i got another deodorant stick so this is more like the more traditional version um, again, 100% effective, 72 hour control. And I can honestly say that is true, that you can literally go 72 hours with no body odor because it has like a powerful ingredient in it, mandelic acid. Let me see if it says that. There's mandelic acid in this and it's dermatology tested, baking soda free, silicone free, propylene glycol free. I mean, all these like fake ingredients that are in your traditional uh, deodorant. So. Yep, lavender sage. Currently, Lumi is only available in USA and in Canada, but I will link them in the description box. But you can also simply Google Lumi deodorant to find them. We even have bar soap. Oh my goodness. Jasmine rose and lavender sage, natural, natural soap for face and body. So this is a hard bar soap. Neat. We are definitely decked out with some body products for a whole year, if not more. Acidified body wash. What is this one? This one is sandalwood citrus. When I see colors like this, I think, you know, I think, oh, this could probably be for a guy as well. So Kenton can definitely have this. Um, Lord have mercy. Warm vanilla invisible deodorant. This is a lot, y'all. This is a lot. Clean tangerine deodorant stick. It just keeps coming. Two of them. Another bar soap. This is warm vanilla. Um, and this one is silver spruce. I think I gave Kenton another one that looked like this previously. Silver spruce. And two more bar soaps. Okay. Clean tangerine and coconut crush. So I am definitely equipped with enough soap and deodorant for another year. Uh, silver spruce. Oh, and they give you this. So I assume, yeah, this must be for the clothing for this bottle. So that's... Okay, guys, this is the next day and I'm not feeling great, but I'm hoping if I get myself together, I'll feel better. I really wanted okay. to come up here and do okay, this very okay. upbeat segment, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to be completely honest and share with you what has been going on and how I've been feeling. And I'm going to do that as in chat while I get myself together. So I'm doing my edges. These braids are old, by the way. They are at least three weeks old. And I'm probably going to redo them very soon. But while I get myself together, um, let's talk about what's been going on with me and this shortness of breath and fatigue. So hopefully you watched my last video last Friday where we did a live, Kenton and I, and we talked about my uh, experience or what I consider not a great experience going to the doctor because when I went I felt completely ignored or not really ignored more like not heard you know when you're telling someone your symptoms but they're insisting on their own narrative they're not listening so that was the experience I had where you know I'd had an episode of chest pain I've been having shortness of breath and uh, the doctor just kept insisting that I had acid reflux when I knew deep down that this was not acid reflux, right? So since that visit, um, I had blood tests and the blood tests were pretty unremarkable. But if you understand medicine, um, you would know that there are thousands of blood tests that can be ordered. And if you don't ask the right question, you don't get the right answer. So just because a doctor says, oh, these labs are okay, doesn't necessarily mean you have a clear diagnosis or that nothing is wrong, right? Anyway, this is how I do my brows. This is how I fill them in. And yeah, just go ahead and watch the magic as it happens. <laughs> I always get asked about my eyebrows. Anyway, let's get back to serious matters. So yeah, in the last video, I believe I pointed out that I had an EKG and the EKG is where they put the leads on your chest and that uh, basically evaluates the rhythm, the rate, 
and also can point out if there are any arrhythmias or if your heart is enlarged you can get a lot of details from an ekg so like i said mine was abnormal but i honestly believe that it was in response to whatever else is going on because sometimes your heart can respond to other stressors going on in your body right so it may not necessarily just be that you have heart disease um, it could be that you have something else going on and your heart now is beating abnormally as a response. At least that is what I believe. Anyway, as I pointed out in my last video, um, Ketan and I, that, you know, it's very unfortunate how uh, a lot of people of color don't always get the best quality of care and I truly believe that that is America today I wish that it wasn't always about race because I know someone pointed out like why do you always have to point out race why did you need to mention that the doctor was white or the nurse was white well truthfully it's not always about race sometimes you just get a provider like I said before who is just lazy who is tired who doesn't want to think who doesn't want to do their job and so they don't really want to bother to dig into what's really going on with you but I will say that unfortunately a lot of times when you are a woman or black female you are likely to have experience uh, a doctor or a provider that just isn't listening and I have had countless examples of that and not you know what not even just black women black men as well because as a person who has been fortunate enough to be a doctor and who has also been fortunate or unfortunate enough to be a patient I have seen countless examples now depending on who's watching or listening to this you may not have experienced racism before and you know God bless you you are fortunate but I will say that many black Americans or black people in the USA have experienced some form of racism from healthcare, and it's unfortunate but it is the truth now again you can disagree you can sit in your bubble and tell me that you have had the best care and that's great you should have the best care but again not every person of color has experienced that Anyway, Kareem was in the room with me. So back to what was going on this day. I was feeling kind of anxious because I went to go get a chest x-ray. And um, yes, I will point out that the technician was very nice. Yes, she happened to be a white female. She was very caring, but it was really scary because right after she took the uh, x-ray film, she returned and started asking me a bunch of more questions about my symptoms and how long they had been there. And again, I know the business and I could tell that she seemed alarmed. And so I begged her, I said, please tell me, what do you see? And of course, she was trying to be very professional. And she said, I'm sorry, I'm only a tech. I cannot tell you. The radiologist has to look at that and that someone will probably get back to you. So anyway, as soon as I left getting that x-ray, I was incredibly anxious because I just knew based on her re reaction um, that something was on that x-ray that was abnormal. So I got back into the car and uh, when I saw Kenton, I was like, this is not good. Something is wrong. I know it. And unfortunately, I don't know what the result is going to be. So um, anyway, I will definitely share when I have the results at the next uh, vlog, hopefully. But just uh, pray for me and... Uh, Hopefully, whatever's going on will eventually resolve itself. In the meantime, I'm going to grab my coach bag because life is short. Wear your stuff, people. Wear your stuff. Look cute. Don't have to have a reason to look cute. You never know. Life is short, right? So I'm going out with Kenton, and you will probably see that vlog on Sunday. Um, yeah, I think I looked cute. What do you think? <laughs> you would never know I didn't feel too good. You would never know. Um, that's what makeup can do for you. A pretty outfit, a nice bag, and yeah, prayers, prayers. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, take care, people. Take care. Um, I'm going to do my best to stay optimistic and do what I can to feel better soon. Bye.